Oakley, who very narrowly edged the ledger. Nine to eight in favour of Avondale. An Avondale side who have had the benefit of a week's break after that 4-0 win on the final day of the season, mid-season signings. Daniel Edwards has got a tough task against former Avenger Stefan Valentini. 66 appearances for the Avengers. Not that he first arrived in NPL Victoria from. And there's a turnover here, a snapshot, a fantastic save by Tom Manos. And so far, so good from Chris Taylor's side. It'll be Joe Guest. The corner into the wind is over everyone at the back post. Struck by Valentini, though, this season in a very different way to last year. Oh, has turned beautifully. So Cuba in support. He'll come and set across to Courtney Perkins. Back on the ball here. On the nails, number 80. Just a big thing out for Trichesky. On across well for Kerr Kerr. This is promising stuff. It's Kerr Kerr. Flashes a curler past the face. Options right and left. On the right was Trichesky who pokes it back to his midfield partner. Still Towns. Now it's Kerr Kerr. One way, then the other. Kerr Kerr. Valentini isolated with Aiden Bryce. Leading the Avondale defender on a merry dance. Every week, you know, especially in Jordan Hall's case, he's had to, he had to really bide his time waiting the wings at Melbourne City. So they'd be quite fresh going into that this period. So deflection broke the way of Alex Salmon. And now Guest is on the march. It's Joe Guest! It is excellent! That is how you break the deadlock in a semi-final. Towards goal with some serious menace. Joe Guest at halftime is Avondale's menace again. It is advantage Oakley after it's extra time. Cannons did come away with the win. This is a lovely run from Daniel Edwards. The swift response would be well desired, and it might sit here for Cuba. And Courtney Perkins perhaps overrate the pudding there, trying to cut it square for Sion Cuba. I, I, I dare say, Nick, that even if he was. Uh, Caught short by the faint touch that Nick Feely got on the cross. JCP should have gone for glory there. I was waiting for him to have the shot. I mean, it seems like he went the, un the sort of the unselfish route and try and put on a platter for Cuba. Oh, beautiful touch from Salmon, who is around Reed with ease. It's Alex Salmon, a great save, but it is instant impact from Kingsley Sinclair. The Cannons with one foot in the big dance. No one is snoring here in Parkville. <laughs> it's been a great semi-final. Oakley in the lead. Avondale looking to answer back. Cuba! Who will it be, though? It is going to be Alex Salmon! It was a firm strike. Matched well by Tom Manos. Kubele to the byline, skipping around a challenge with UK Towns. Now Sinclair. Back to Salmon. Shooting angle not really on, but the crossing angle is. It's poured away by Manos to the top of the box. And down goes Brody Boyce. Chesky to Kerr. Just delicately passed it to El Hayek, but it's at sixes and sevens with Kerr Kerr. Valentini. Still Stefan Valentini. And it's turned in by Salmon. And surely now... The Cannons are off to the big dance. And it is Alex Salmon, a man on fire. Diaz, has he stayed on side? He has stayed on side. Liston Diaz drops it across, and Zinni should have scored. Jacob Trapp sends the ball into the air again. Against the 10 men, Avondale, who cannot put up any more of a fight. Oakley Cannons are back in the big dance.